How you doing? Welcome to Josh Ross Ash, and all I want to say to you is, do you feel lucky, punk? We are here because we are lucky to witness one of the greatest actors of all time, one of one of the sexiest men of all time, or the man. He is the sexiest man of all time. The greatest voice, the greatest alpha male, the man that can put a toothpick in his mouth and make me twerk for him, okay? This man is Clean Eastwood and we are here to witness, apparently, according to all of you, one of his greatest movies of all time named Unforgiven, okay? So listen, a lot of people voted and said, Ash, listen, this movie is amazing. You need to check it out. You think Django's good? You think Tombstone is good? You think Once Upon a Time is good? Once Upon a Time in the West is good? You think the good, the bad, the ugly is good? Ash! Watch Unforgiven. It has Gene Hackman. It has Clean Eastwood. It has Morgan Freeman himself. Guys, I cannot wait to watch this. I love you. Listen, make sure you go down to the comment section. Let me know what you think or, and what you what was your first reaction to seeing this movie. Let me know what you think of the reaction, guys. Comment, share, subscribe, like, do all that shit. And also make sure you check out the full reaction with your boy. I love you. Let's get into this. It's a hell of a thing, killing a man. You take away all he's got, and all he's ever gonna have. Listen, any music that starts with a sexy Spanish acoustic, I'm in. I'm in. Goosebumps on my balls, on my ass, on my legs, everywhere. Therefore, it was heartbreaking to her mother that she would enter into a marriage with William Money, a known thief and a murderer. Listen, mom, your girl's into them bad boys. Do you understand? She wants to be thrown around the room, okay? She doesn't want to date some basic melt. No. This woman's wearing cowboy boots to bed. She ain't wearing no Timberlands. Oh, he's just cutting her up. Oh, oh my God, he's just slashing her face. He's just slashing her face. Cowboy. Man, she, he just, Edward Scissorhands that woman's face. God, imagine someone just holding you down, getting that butcher's knife and just going like this to your face. Steal nothing. She didn't even touch his poke. All she'd done when she seen he had a teensy little pecker is give a giggle, that's all. <laughs> Come on, she needs to be professional. She needs to be professional. You gotta give that man some confidence, man. You can't be laughing and giggling. You gotta be like, that's enough for me. You can use your mouth as well. Do you know what I mean? Go down, foreplay. Do that finger blast. Finger blast 7,000. A whipping? That's all they get after what they've done? Whipping ain't no little thing, Alice. But what they've done, they can talk about more than... Shut up. So you get hanged for stealing horses, but you get a whip. That's crazy. You ain't even gonna whip them? Well, I find them instead, Alice. That ain't fair. Have you seen enough blood for one night? <laughs> yeah, but these men shouldn't live. They're just gonna do the same thing to everyone else, you muppet. You mean like they was uh, tramps or loafers or bad men. You know, they were just hardworking boys that was foolish. What a dick this guy is, man. Imagine calling him foolishness for cutting a fucking Edward Scissorhand in this girl's face. He didn't just slap her in the face. If it was slaps, I'd be like, okay, but this man got a butcher's knife and just started painting on her face. And he's asking for ponies, not even horses. 
Just because we let them smelly fools ride us like horses don't mean we gotta let them brand us like mm. horses. I got $112. Wow, look at that. They take care of her, man. That's amazing. 200 $240. Wow. Jesus, Faith, what you been doing? She's been doing that double-handed 3,000 gut gut action going on. You shot Charlie Pepper, didn't you? You're the one who killed William Harvey and robbed that train over Missouri. Now, hold on. This man has the best squint. The way his eyes are always just like this, he's got the meanest, deadliest look I've ever seen in my life. Like he's, he's got the best frown. Like, if this man looks at you, you give him whatever you have. I'm a damn killer myself, except that uh, I ain't killed as many as you because of my youth. Schofield kid, that's what they call me. Anyone who brags like that, you know they're chatting shit. I'm gonna kill a couple of no good cowboys. For what? For cutting up a lady. Oh! My wife, she cured me of that. Cured me of drinking. Wickedness. It's crazy how, like, a man this deadly with this reputation, with, I mean, assuming from th what this guy was saying, he's like the deadliest killer, the best gunslinger, right? The deadliest assassin. He's the John Wick of the Western era, right? A woman can come into his life and just cure him of that? That is nuts. Oh shit, that doesn't look that bad though. Put some tattoos on that. You could cover them up with makeup. Couple more days and uh, I was gonna call on the sheriff. How about that? The river was all swollen up. Oh, they're not actually ponies, they're horses. So why do they call them ponies? She ain't got no face left. You're gonna give her a goddamn mangy pony? She ain't mangy, man. Get out of here. <laughs> Let her make the decision. Why are you making decisions for her, man? <laughs> Gets a shotgun because he can't shoot that thing. <laughs> wow, you can. I love that because it shows how long he's been out of the game. Well, you take care of your sister now, my son. And you kill a few chickens if you have to. And Keep those hogs that got the fever separate. That is crazy. He's like, what? The kid's like nine years old, 10? And he has to kill chickens? 10 year olds nowadays, they don't even know how to cook a chicken, let alone kill it. What do you think of her? Well, I heard you done roof yourself. Roof? Jesus, skinny, I just That's amazing. Legit, he's building his house himself. That is amazing. You will look at that house with so much affection, the fact that you built it yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, they've been humping them and telling every bow-legged one of them that uh, they're paying a thousand dollars to whatever son of a bitch kills the two boys that... Oh, shit. Cut up Delilah. Every time I watch a Western movie, yeah, I've always, like, to me, I'm like, how did people just go up to the police station, right, and pick up a wanted poster and then just go after that man for money? Imagine if this was a thing right now. Imagine. Like 400,000 if you find this man. So you still have that Spencer rifle, huh? Yeah. And I can still knock your eye out of a bird flying, too. God, he's whenever he's got his hat and he does that little smile, you know, as a man, you'd watch this and you're like, you know what, I will give my girlfriend away to him. I would. I genuinely would and I wouldn't feel bad about it. I would. I definitely would feel bad about it, but not that bad. Just imagine riding these horses through these fields, looking at those mountains, looking at the sunset. God, it must have been such 
an amazing feeling, you know what I mean? Like whatever problems you have, looking at that view and riding on that horse and smelling that fresh air, unpolluted air, their mind must have just constantly been fresh, you know? Just because we're going on this killing, that don't mean I'm going to go back to being the way I was. Ned, you remember that drover I shot through the mouth and his teeth came out the back of his head? I think about him now and again. He didn't do anything to deserve to get shot. I'm just a fella now. I ain't no different than anyone else. He, he has so much guilt. He's just so uncomfortable, man. Like, you can tell he's, he wants to be a nice person, but, like, every time he does something nice, immediately reminds me back of, like, the guy that he shot and his teeth came out back of his fucking head. How does that even happen? Now, if you were to point a pistol at a king or a queen, your hands would shake as though pulled it. Now, a president. Well, I mean, why not shoot the president? He's just mugging the Americans off and he hasn't even landed in the country yet. I think up to you. <laughs> Where's your queen now, bitch? Well, actually, what I heard was that you fell off your horse, drunk, of course, and that you broke your bloody neck. I heard that one myself, Bob. I love the fact that you can just hear the wind and the flags moving. No music. The tension here. You could just touch it you know i'll have that 32 bob you will leave me at the mercy of my enemies you've been talking about the queen again yeah you making enemies by talking about the queen independence day Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all those villains now tell them there ain't no horse gold He's just making a point to everyone. Don't go backstabbing me. Don't disrespect me, putting his foot down. But what's the point of being a fucking 70 year old man? And he just took his gun away. Get your damn hands off my rifle, mister. Thought I'd check it for you. Thought maybe something was bent. <laughs> bent. Well, you were shooting all over creation. <laughs> Shooting all over creation. <laughs> Riding on a horse in in this like nature must be so much better than fucking doing yoga at home and listening to those hum music. Yeah. See that hawk up there? Yeah. Well, that's a hawk with one shot. There ain't no hawk. Hell, I could hit it too, Ned, if I didn't mind wasting a shot. There ain't no hawk, kid. You can't see for shit, can you? Oh, shit. See your canteen? <laughs> All right, how far can you see? Far enough. We ain't going to Wyoming to shoot canteens, goddammit. How far? A hundred yards? More. Can you see that scrub oak, yonder? Fuck you, Ned. He's short-sighted. <laughs> I can see well enough to shoot this son of a bitch right here in front of me. Now hold on. You hear that, Ned? Kid can see 50 yards. And that's why you're trying to hire someone. Because you can't see for shit. A business up in Jackson County. That really happened. On how there's two deputies up close pointing their rifles right at you. Had you dead to rights. You pulled out your pistol and blew them both to hell. I love these, like, stories that you hear about him. You know, like, it makes his legend even bigger because you just like it's like he's teasing you of what he's about and you're just like oh just give it to me it's such a this movie is just teasing me about this guy's talent how many men you kill how many men you kill kid five i don't kill nah, five. you're chatting there you probably saw five with your eyesight all you gotta do is shoot me you and Bob can just ride on out of here free as birds. Wow. <laughs> it is, it is, is it loaded? Wouldn't do you much good if it wasn't. First you got to cocky. So he's teaching him. Oh, wow. This is going to make a great chapter in your book. All you got to do is pull the trigger, mister. 
I love that there's no music. You could just hear silence and thunder in the background. God, this is so much better, man. Oh, shit. The tension in this movie, man. The teasing in this movie. What if, what if, what if I gave it to him? Give it to him. See that tone in his voice, give it to him. Oh my God, this man, he, he's just trying to write the best fucking book. He's stirring the pot right now. Do you know what, the reason why most of these people had duels and like, gunfights and stuff, it was because they were so bored, they had no, no entertainment. You know? Give them a few iPads, a PlayStation, some NFTs, cryptos. That's it, man. This guy's looking for it. He's just begging, foaming in the mouth for a fight. I guess you don't want it, Mr. Beauchamp. God, the tension in this fucking movie is amazing. This, how many times do you think he's just pissed himself? You're right not to take it, Bob. I would have killed you. Now, right about that. Come on. You got great content there. You know, like, there's nothing really going on in this movie, yeah? Besides, like, the first five, ten minutes. But... The interactions between, like, Gene Hackman and Clean Eastwood and you hear his stories, you're so intrigued because it's just, it's like a Phil Collins music. There's a lead up to that drum, right? You can see the lead up, the trajectory. You're so intrigued and teased by it. It's like this really hot girl just teasing you, you know what I mean? You remember Eagle, hand or shot. Yeah, I saw. Well, he's dead. No, I saw him dead. I love that there's no music. Like, I feel like background music does just only works for certain movies. The fact that you could just hear the weather outside, rain, thunder, you know, flags moving and shit. It creates an uneasy environment, like you're tense. Even though there's nothing really going on, it's just them talking and telling stories about the past. He's so ashamed of his past. He's really trying to be good. Hence probably why it's called Unforgiven, because he doesn't think he's been forgiven and he doesn't forgive himself. Look at this, no music, just rain, just rain, the tension in this. That woman with the cut up face, oh, this is amazing. Give me the pistol, mister. Well, Mr. William Hendershot, I was to say you was a no good son of a bitch and a liar. No one looks better than Clean Eastwood with his hat right this, and he looks up and he got, gives that like look. He's. God, I love this man. He is a carrying of firearm. Get out. Is he faking it? Is this part of the plan? What's this for snakes and such? Yeah. Why why did he say he hasn't got any firearms? This is the kind of trash I can get off. I haven't seen him really do anything bad, this guy, right? Like, he's just protecting his town, I guess. But he hasn't done anything, like, evil, evil. Do you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't even seem like a villain to me. If they was just here for the fucking how come they lit out the back window? On account they seen you was beating on their friend, you just kicked the shit out of an innocent man. Innocent? Innocent and what? Like, if the town has rules to not have any guns... I agree with him. If you don't see the sign, obviously you didn't see the sign, but don't lie, because if you lie, you make yourself more suspicious and then they'll have to beat the shit out of you, right? He hasn't done anything for me to go, he deserves to get killed. He's beat up that dickhead English guy because he was chatting shit. 
He wouldn't have took no beating like that if it hadn't a chance. He wouldn't just give it over and not shoot no one. No, he's just rusty as hell. I don't kill nobody without him. We don't need him. The two of us could do it. Take that stupid shit out of your mouth, man. This kid looks like he's been watching too many Clint Eastwood movies. He's gonna die, ain't he? I'm well, supposing he does. You mean when I help you kill them cowboys? And if I spot him? Well, then I ride up close and shoot him. Just like that. I told you I'm a damn killer. I've done it before. <sighs> Guys, I know I keep repeating myself, but... Music in music... Sorry, music in music. Music in these moments... I've seen so many movies do it, and it's unnecessary, right? This movie has elements of life, like Wolf, the sound of fire, the, the flags, the wind, the fun, thunder, like, it just immerses you in this world and it's also so relaxing. Your friends, they've been taking advances on the payment. Advances? Free ones? Free ones. Oh. Would you like a free one? Oh, I feel bad for her. Because <laughs> if you reject her, she's going to think you rejected her because of her face. I'll be like, no, 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 it's not. It's got nothing to do with your face. It's got nothing to do with your face. You are beautiful. I swear to God, any man deserves you. But my wife, she haunts me. And what I said the other day about you looking like me, that ain't true. You ain't ugly like me. Tell her. It's just that we both yeah. got scars. You're a beautiful woman, and if I was to want a, a free one, I'd want it with you, I guess, more than... Wow! Let's go! Let's go! What a man! I can't on account of my wife. Wow, that woman changed him. Look at this goosebump. Look at this. Look, 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 look. For being true to your wife and all? I've known a lot of men who, mm. who weren't. That's a proper man right there. Yeah, she's watching over my young one. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. That girl probably hasn't smiled in a long time and this man just made her smile. We both got scars. Jesus, boys, my leg's broke. Better finish him, Ned. He ain't dead? You didn't get him? You got the boy's horse. Better finish him before he gets clear. Oh, wow. He can't. What happened to you shooting that pigeon's eye or something? Come on, bro. You're chatting shit like that guy. Oh, shit. Did he get him? You missed him. I got him. Got him to the gut, I think. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Jesus, I'm so thirsty. Slim! Slim, give me, give me some water, please. Jesus, this is sad, man. Give me a drink of water, god damn it. Wow. Will you give him a drink of water for Christ's sake? Look at Morgan Freeman just down there, sitting there. Jesus, Johnny, they shot him! Davey, hold on now. God, this is... This is sad, man. The fact that it's making me feel... Sad for, like... Upset for this... For this guy. Oh, he's there. Him? He's sitting there. Oh shit, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. The fact that he's not screaming as well, he's just taking it. Them whores wouldn't tell different lies than you. And when their lies ain't the same as your lies, I'm gonna hurt you. Jesus. Not gentle like before. But bad. He sees those women as property, but he sees the men as just 
that you can't touch him, you can't disrespect him, you can't kill him. Yeah, Let him take a shit and then just shoot him straight up. All right, kid. Go get him. He's all yours. Oh, no. Are you... He has to get close up to him as well. Why would you let him do it? I guess if he runs out, then he can shoot him as well, right? Assassins! Where did he go? Oh, you idiot. He opened the wrong one. Just do it, man. Boom. Yeah, you ain't gonna miss that. The horse still doesn't respect him. You can tell through the horse and how the horse hasn't respected him. That he's still rusty. They could have easily gone in there. He could have just waited there and killed. Probably the old money would have just waited there and killed every single one of them, right? But you could tell he's a changed man by killing the one guy that he came to kill. Was you ever scared in them days? I can't remember. I was drunk most of the time. He's taking a shit and he went for his pistol and I blazed away. That was the first one. Wow. It's so relaxing watching these scenes. First one I ever killed. Oh shit, it's his first one. You know how I said I shot five men in? Yeah, you obviously lied. You saw five men with those eyesights. Well, you sure killed the hell out of that fella today. Hell yeah. I fucking love the fact that there's no background music. It immerses you in that world so much, like you don't even understand. It's a hell of a thing killing a man. Wow. Wow. Take away all he's got. And all he's ever gonna have. Wow. Wow. You know, like with these Western movies, right? We're so used to and callous to like just killing people. But the fact that they make you understand what it's like to kill someone and, you know, take away their life and everything they had. And just saying that line through someone who didn't brag about, but he did. Jesus, this is amazing. He went south. We'll catch up to him. No, he's dead. What? Who killed him? Little Bill, the bar T boys caught him, and Little Bill, he he beat him up. They got a sign on him, says he was a killer. They got a sign on him. Oh my! These the questions Little Bill was asking. What kind were they? He didn't want to give his friends away. So Little Bill killed him for what we done, huh? Oh my God! This man. He's going to become he the angel of death. Money out of Missouri. Look at the sip of alcohol he's just taken. Oh my God. Look at the way he just took this heat. Give me your Schofield. Oh. <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah. Look at the way he just... He went, he, he didn't say anything. He just took the alcohol while she was saying it. Went like that. And he just said, give me the Schofield. I don't kill nobody no more. Good. I ain't like you, Will. Wow. Oh my God. You just raised the angel of death. You just summoned a demon. Oh my God. The way he subtly grabbed the drink just said everything. He didn't say, I'm going to go kill everyone. He didn't go, I'm, I want revenge. He just took the drink. You're going to kill little Bill, ain't you? You stay clear of folks you see. Be a lot of map to hang you. He's still not saying he's going to kill him. Oh, I just fucking love this man. You took his only best friend away from him. Finish the drink. 
He finished that drink as well. The way, oh my God. It's just done so subtly, but it says a thousand words. They made a poster out of his mate. What does it say? This is what hampers two assassins around here. Oh my God, they legit nailed him to that fucking casket. That's your own money, right? <laughs> Oh, he's here! <laughs> he's here! Man's here with two sh. I've seen these skunks. Yeah, you're gonna take this gun away from me? Oh my god, he's here with everyone. He's here with everyone. Check me now! Check me now! Check me! I did see your sign, but I came in. Who's the fella who owns this shit all? <laughs> yeah, you take those girls upstairs. Actually, no, you've got the best view in the house. Stay up there. Speak up. Uh, I own this establishment. Just hold it right there. Hold it! <laughs> Touch your gun. I dare you. I dare you. You better be right in your story. You just shot an unarmed man. Yep. Well, he should have armed himself. He's going to decorate his saloon with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed women and children. Killed just about everything that walks or crawled at one time or another. You can't even see his eyes. Look at I'm this. I'm here to kill you, little Bill, for what you did to Ned. Boys better move away. <laughs> part! Do the Moses. Part them. Part them. Oh, this is giving me goosebumps. Look at this. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. No music, the tension in this. Oh shit. This fire. Kill us. The speed of the way he just finished them. Oh my God. He just, the way he just kneeled down and he just went, pat, pat, pat. Any man don't want to get killed. Better clear on out the back. <laughs> the fact that he wasn't scared of just walking in, no tactics, nothing. Knock, knock, shotgun. Here I am. Just a reaper of souls. You just summoned a demon. Pick up that rifle. Pick it up. God, the fact that oh, I'm just in love that there's no music. It makes this scene so much better. I don't believe it. You killed five men. Single handed. Yeah, write about that. Chuck your book out the way, write about this night. Who was next? It was Clyde, right? He must have killed Clyde. Well, it could have been Deputy Andy. Oh Doesn't shit, he's roll. still alive. I can tell you who's going to be last. <laughs> I can tell you who's going to be last. The one line is in this. This is a beautiful movie. I don't deserve this. <laughs> I was building a house. Yeah, shit one. Got to do with it. I'll see you in hell with your money. Yeah. Yeah! Oh my god! Finally he accepts himself. He accepts himself. I see you in hell because I haven't forgiven myself. Unforgiven, bitch. I am the angel of death. I see you there. I see you there. The, the way he just looked at him. 
didn't take his eyes off him as well. Look, had his eyes constantly on him while he sh He just had his eyes on him while he blew his brains out. Didn't look away, nothing. Stared into his soul and said, yeah. Any some bitch takes a shot at me, not only gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill his wife. <laughs> All his friends. Wow. He just needed a little motivation to drink, you know? They didn't give him a little one. They gave him the biggest motivation. This man has no fear. You better not cut up no otherwise harm no whore. Or I'll come back and kill every one of you sons of bitches. <laughs> With the American flag behind him. What? Just riding, not even in a sunset. In, he's just the angel of death. This man. Look at this. He ain't riding in no sunset. He riding into that storm. He knows he's going to hell. He's accepted it. He accepts who he is. Directed and produced by Clean East with this man. This, I mean, is he one of the most talented people to ever live? To direct and act in this masterpiece of a movie. First of all, let me tell you why this is a masterpiece, right? Because throughout, I'd say, one hour and 50 minutes of this movie, right? Really, compared to other Western movies, nothing happened. Right, like compared to other westerns, where they all start with a bang, with like stairs and like killing families, and you know, like the villains are just doing the craziest shit, burning houses, you know, like deputies are begging for you know these assassins, these bounty hunters. Do you know what I mean? Nothing like that happened. It was just teasing you and showing you about this world, right? It taught you that like, what this man is capable of, but with stories, but you didn't believe in them, right? You just saw, you, you, you know, you were hearing these stories, you're like, yeah, but look at him, like he's, he's, he's an old guy, he can barely get up on his horse, he can't shoot well, like, you didn't really believe in it, right? But the more the story went on, you, you just, you went like this, you went, Fuck, I think this is true. Shit, this is true. Oh my God, this man, if if he, can he do it? Like, you were so intrigued that you didn't care about the action. You were, you, you were holding on to every word that was coming out of their mouths because you wanted to find out more about money. You wanted to find out more about his backstory. Right? Like, you wanted him to just drink. You were like, yes, I know, God, like, this man is trying to be good and be faithful to his wife, but just drink. Just give him a reason to drink. Let me see if it's a true story. And the fact, right, this is what I loved about this movie as well. The writer, right, when that Bobby English guy comes in, or whatever his name was, right, when he comes in, you can tell that stories are exaggerated, stories are, you know, they're, you know, you could easily lie and, you know, um, you can make up these things to make yourself bigger and more of a god like the Greeks did, right? And the other guy did the same thing, right, where he was, he was chatting shit, but he was also telling some facts, but, all, all, but also making himself look bigger in these stories, right? But when a real killer when a real man, when the angel of death walks through that door with a shotgun, you see the writer's face and he went, that is the truth, right? And you see, when you see the actual truth, it's not pretty. It's not stylized. It's nothing to be proud of, right? But it's something that you just sit back and you just write. And that's what I love because it just showed you what it is to be a real killer and what is to chat shit about it and brag about it, right? What is to actually take a life? Do you know what I mean? Like, it was, and the fact that he, 
he kept himself from drinking and you know being respectful to his wife's wishes and he was trying to do good and he was trying to be good but you can tell that he didn't forgive himself right and throughout the movie he always contradicts himself because he's like you know he, he he's like yeah but you know i've 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 killed these people but I've also like trying to do good for my kids i'm trying to do this and that it's like he didn't forgive himself but he was trying so hard to accept himself right and then you get to the end bit where he's got the shotgun right to his head and then um gene hackman's like i see you in hell right and then there you can see he accepts himself for who he is for who he truly is deep down right he is a good guy but he's more than that he's just this horrible villain who turned his life around you know who hasn't forgiven himself he doesn't want to be forgiven right he he accepts that that he's not going to be forgiven and he just says yeah he looks him in the eyes and just says yeah i see you there because that's where i belong with you because i'm a thief i'm a murderer I'm, i killed women i killed children i kid killed men that didn't deserve to die so yeah i see you there but i took you down with me i took you to hell with me and it's just just amazing you know it's such a beautiful movie and another thing that i love love loved about this a lot of movies as i said constantly during my reaction a lot of movies put music for the sake of it like you don't need music in every single scene you don't right you don't the fact that they just took simple sounds of the flag moving the fire wolves in the background rain it built that tension when there was nothing going on and it was just like it felt like i was sitting next to a campfire right and someone was telling me these stories and the it was just a perfect way of storytelling you know what i mean i genuinely like loved this movie loved it honest to god it was it it was so fascinating to see how the slow teasers throughout this movie or what this man is capable of can you like you almost just beg for it at the you just oh, God, just give it to me please make sure this is worth it guys thank you so much for reacting this with me this was an amazing movie i loved every single minute of it wasn't bored at all guys thank you so much i love you thank you clean eastwood you're an absolute legend mate i love you guys take care